Hey everyone, it's AJ from Crisp and today I'm going to talk about Webhooks and how it will help your company to share data among the entire organization. And if you're not familiar with Webhooks, also known as Custom Callbacks or Hooks, well, stay tuned because I'm going to explain how it can help your business to be improved. At the end of this video, I'll also be sharing some tips about how to combine Discord and Webhooks. So if you're ready for another video packed with value and interesting content, please smash that like button. Looking for other videos about customer service? Well, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get a notification when we publish new content. But let's get back to our story about Webhooks. So Webhook is like an automated message that is sent from your app to another one when a special event occurs. Simply put, Webhooks can be used to connect one tool to another and send real-time data from software A to custom HTTP endpoint, for example, your own servers or an external tool. Now that you know what a Webhook is, it's also interesting to understand what you can do thanks to Webhooks. And honestly, the list is endless because each software has its own list of events and therefore its own list of webhooks. For example, at Crisp, we have more than 35 different webhooks available. Check them out in the description, everything is described. Now that you're a webhook specialist, let's see how you can set this up inside Crisp. Remember that webhooks are available from any plan at Crisp and it doesn't require for you to be a paying customer to have access to it. In this example, we will use Zapier as our endpoint and connect it with Discord so that we can create some interesting loops between Chris, Zapier, and um, Discord. So the step one is about preparing your endpoint, which has to be done using Zapier. So first, you're going to click on that button, make a Zap. If you do not have any account on Zapier, you will have to create one. And here, you can search for uh, specific apps. In that case, we're going to look for Webhook. There we go. Then we're going to use catch a hook and continue. And here, as you can see, Zapier gives us a specific and unique URL, which is our endpoint. So now you're done with step one. Let's get started with step two. So once you're in your crisp inbox, reach out to website settings, then choose the inbox for which you are going to build the webhooks. So in that case, click on settings, then go to advanced configuration. And here, as you can see, you have multiple uh, drop downs available. Click on webhooks. So as you can see at Crisp, we already have one webhook available and working because it's shown as active. And you can click on that button and add a webhook. Give it a name. and add the unique URL that's been given to you by Zapier. Then look for the event that you want to be monitoring. In our case, this will be session sync rating, which is the event that occurs when there's a new customer feedback sent throughout our product. Add the hook target. Now, as you can see, it's inactive. That's normal because maybe there has no new ratings that have been that have been sent by our customers. So now, as you can see, um, you can try the trigger and test it. And now this is what you should be seeing when you're trying to find data coming from that specific event that occurred on your product. In that case, inside Crisp, when a customer has left a new ratings about his experience concerning um, the question he asked on our customer support, for example. So as you can see, we get different kinds of data which is the website ID, the session ID, uh, the number of stores, and the comment too. I'll simply click on continue. And now I have to look for an action. In that case, I'm going to look for Discord because that's what I want to do. And choose an event. And what we're going to do is send channel message. Then I'm going to continue. Sign into Discord. I'll select my server, which is crispy test. Continue. I give all the authorization 
and I confirm that. So now simply hit continue and choose the different information you wish to send the data to. So in that example, we are going to pick the channel, which will be general. And inside the message text, we're going to bring back some of the information that we had. We're going to add rating stores, comments, and some information. Ratings. comments and then slash website ID slash And that's it. And now you can test and review. Let's look at my account. And you can see here that everything is available. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to get notification when we publish new content.